Hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over how to program the Thales Liberty for Syntax Trunk Radio System, or CTRS. So here we are in Liberty PC Programmer. One thing to note with this, you will need our modified version of the exe file, and you would need to drop that into the Program Files folder for, Liber for Liberty PC Programmer. This allows the system key to be hard-coded in, as Thales no longer supports these radios, and we cannot get system keys for them. So first thing right off the bat, you're going to need to create a new network. Um, there should already be one in there for conventional, but we're going to go ahead and add a new one for trunking. I'm going to select the conventional box, uncheck, sorry, check the trunking box, uncheck conventional, set it to CTRS, TRS, or whatever you want the network name to be. Um, the WACN ID should already be um, loaded. If you want to check and make sure that everything worked out, you should see a green one system key found box at the bottom, or you can go into the little flash drive manage system key um, option there, and you'll see serial number 303 alpha WACN ID and system ID as programmed correctly. Um, it should be under uh, a master key. <clears throat> so. RFSI ID will be 1. We do not have anything higher than that. C4FM, no secure keys for console, fail software, and dynamic regroup. And we'd recommend enter RFSS roaming. Inside the control channel list, you add all your control channels as required. Uh, we'd recommend you add all the ones that we are licensed for just so when you're walking around or going to events, you don't have to reprogram your radio. With the channel identifier list, you will need to add enough that you get up to channel ID 4. Um, Thales and most other manufacturers start counting from 1, DVM counts from 0. So as such, the one posted in IDEN table will be starting from 0. So 0, 1, 2. Base RF will be 146.000, and then for channel ID 4, it will be 450.000. Bandwidth will be 12.5, TX offset for channel ID 3 be plus 1, channel ID 4 offset will be plus 5. Channel spacing will be left the same. Site list, this is where you're going to set up your site aliasing if you wish. <coughs> We don't need to edit anything inside the advanced tab. We can move now move on to create a personality. This is going to be where your trunking talk groups are going to go. I'd recommend squelch tail suppression, announcement talk group. That's going to be set to 911, select clear. So now we're going to add stuff like ops, 7B, 7B. You can check, check the icon color for the UI, and then set that to select, and then a key. Um, we're going to skip down to global. You can set up your keypad programming here if you wish. Um, keep in mind, per FCC Part 90 regulations, you will need to set a password um, to maintain compliance. Um, set up all your keys and switches as required. Surveillance, acoustic audio suppression, echo suppression, I recommend set to on. Multi mode, lighting controls, radio access password, up to you. Programmable soft keys, up to you. GPS, we don't use any of uh, the TALUS. Um, compatible options. On this top bar, go to Secure Settings, create new keys, and then add them as required if you have secure perms in the channels. So we're going to add ASTFK1. I'm going to set that to a fake SLN number. This will be uh, the CKR and the key ID in the channel. Secure controls, recommend clear alert tone on, key fail on, chat for key display on, 
enable key set selection off, conventional RX TEK selection, any TEK. OTAR profile, that's up to you. Um, we do not use it. If you do have access to uh, an OTAR system, go for it. Hopping back up to personality, we can now select key. Emergency mode disabled. Emergency is not supported on DVM, never has, never will be. Only calls will work. Um, alarms will not work. Uh, conversation type set to PTT ID. We're now going to swap up to bank, create a new bank, call that CTRS, go down to zone, create a new zone, and I'd recommend the format be system wide, area one DFW, area two, sorry, area one Travis, area two DFW, area three. LA County, Area 4 can either, um, sorry, not Area 4, but Zone 5 can be 5M if you wish to have those talk groups programmed in, or they can be conventional. So now we're going to add the system wide zone. I'm just going to shorthand that. And you can set these text and icon color. I'm going to go with blue. So now we're going to drag our talk groups over in the order that we wish. Go back to bank, move our zone over to the bank, and now we can add conventional channels. So we're going to do channel 1 from our IO stack. Network 1, as that was our conventional um, network before. Keypad programming locked, GPS enabled, OTAR, MDC ID if it's analog, all is required. Um, yes, go back to networks, make sure you're on the conventional network. CAA data registration, you can set that to Motorola if you're using uh, DDRS or the like. Emergency mode off, GPS off, as no one's going to be using a Thales compatible GPS. MDC, I'd recommend both if you wish, that's up to you. Side tones, up to you. Um, MDC emergency mode off. <clears throat> now inside the channel, we can select MDC ID if it's set to analog narrowband. Do not select analog wideband for any of our channels as per FCC part 90, wideband is not available on our licenses anymore post rebanding. And now all you need to do is just write it to the radio and you're home free. As usual, call, email, um, or just send us a message, and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.